Welcome back to episode 2 of Metal Gear 2. Um, I decided to do something a little different in the way that I had two episodes worth... Oh, crap. Two episodes worth of footage uh, recorded, but I decided to scrap it because I wasn't happy with the way the commentary wasn't coming out because it wasn't really matching Dust Shoot. Save myself some trip. Um, well, I, was, I wasn't happy with the way it was coming out. I was playing a little too fast, and uh, I couldn't really explain some things, so I decided to just go back to the old ways and do it live. So we're here in the trash compactor, and let's see what they're throwing away. Ration. Okay, they're throwing away good food. Oh, shit. Now, one thing I noticed, well, I had to restart my game, and uh, I had beaten the game previously, and I guess the system data had saved Solid Snake's bandana, so I have infinite ammo if I want it, but I'm not really going to use it. Well, I might use it in one boss fight, but that's about it. So now we're in the sewer, and we're going to be doing a little, what I like to call grocery shopping, because the next thing we need to do is go into the jungle and follow a gentleman around for a while, which is pretty goddamn annoying. But before we do that, there's some stuff we need to pick up out of this building before we go to the next building. So, where the hell am I now? Uh, okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that pit trap almost got me. The hilarious slash weird thing about this game is that pit traps will not affect enemy soldiers, but mines will. So if they're if you're in a minefield, the uh, mines will kill them, and the pit, they'll just walk right over the pit traps and come straight after you. All right, submachine gun, which I don't really need. Eh. Three still the magical number of times you need to hit somebody to kill them. I bet you he's facing that way. And there's not really anything. I don't think there's anything in this little area required to beat the game. It's just a nice little place where you can just stock up on stuff. Let's see. Well, yeah. Run back. You son of a bitch. Run! Okay. I just picked up my copy of uh, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection last night, and... It's it's weird how they emulated it on... They're emulating an MSX game, a PS2 port, on a PS3. So you still play it widescreen. Was there, no, there's nothing up there I can get. I should take notes for these things so I can be like, Well, don't go up here because you'll just die. Alright. I only need to grab one more thing. And cool, we're here. We're, we're the exact place I need to be. What was that noise? See, I learned, if you just kind of let them come to you, go to sleep. And the silencer. So now, there's no noise when you shoot. Oh, I need the, I need some ammo. No, sh no, no extra noise when you shoot. So, that's useful. Uh, oh, God. They saw me. Come on, elevator. Bitch, get an elevator. Oh, God. Press the button. Close the door. Okay. The uh, alerts in this game at least don't last as long as Metal Gear Solid 3. Which I also started just playing, and I will finish eventually, I'm sure, with all the other fucking games that just came out. Oh. Don't go over the grate, he'll see you. Oh, shit. No, duck. Okay. Fucking cameras. I don't think I'm missing anything else. What was that noise? Your death! Bitch. 
All right. Now, um, Black Ninja told us to follow a guy in a green beret. That's this guy. He's the one guy in the base that's a green beret. All the rest are red. So now we get to do the funnest part in the game. Well, there's a bunch of fun parts in the game. We get to follow this asshole through a whole maze. And if at any point you get spotted, he'll run away and you have to start the whole thing over again. Man. <laughs> we want to add... We want to add a good five minutes to your gameplay. All right, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna follow this this guy around. God damn, you're brilliant, Kojima. Who? Why haven't you gotten a raise yet? In your own studio. Oh shit. Okay. Phew. I was say, I want to add another fucking eighteen hours. So. I went to um, GameStop last night for the midnight release of Modern Warfare 3, and uh, there are a lot of fucking Modern Warfare fans out there. There was 300 people at our little podunk GameStop, and thankfully, I was in the PS3 line because there was only about 30 PS3 people, and I think there was 175 Xbox people, so I got out. Bucky saw me. Nope, come back! Come back. God damn it. Alright. Loading screen. Let's do it again. I didn't think he had line of sight on me. Oh shit, he's up here. Oh shit. Put the gun away, snake. There he goes. Kind of funny that he just runs away and then goes back to his patrol route. I was like, oh man, there was a guy there, but fuck it. Fuck it, we're good now. Come on. This part is annoying. Let's get out the cigarettes. Cool. I don't know how that would actually take health away from you. Oh, please be on that next screen. Duh, son of a bitch. That's what I get for smoking a cigarette. Third time's the charm. Alright, so he's gonna go down there. Alright. Follow him. You know, it's funny. In the recording I did... Before this, um, I nailed it. First try. I didn't have to fucking... Alright. I didn't have to redo this shit twice already. But so far already, we've already seen quite a few things recycled from uh, Metal Gear 2 into Metal Gear Solid. And I'm th very thankful they did not recycle this into Metal Gear Solid. Okay. I just want to fucking... You think they would have incorporated, like, some of this into, like, the way Snake talks, you know, like... Snake, you have to take the PAL key and cool and heat it. It's like, shit, I had to follow a guy around a jungle for 20 minutes. And he walks in the most fucked up pattern. I didn't even know what the hell he was doing half the time. And he just looks behind him every 10 feet. Alright. And for some reason, after you do this... The jungle is completely mapped out, but if you do it beforehand, no. Now you're just fucked. You have to just... 
Oh, wait, wait, you saw me last time. Even though I was behind dense foliage. Alright. The great thing is you're like, oh, he's going to go to the right and, just, and show you the new part of the map. Oh, no, he's going in a loop. Oh, shit. Get down here. Shit, get up. Okay. It's a lot more nerve-wracking to do this shit live. Alright, now he's... No? Yes? Okay. Hurry, 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 hurry. Get back a little bit. Now he's gonna start running. Whee! Okay. Come on. <laughs> Shit is so ridiculous. Okay. Go, 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 go. Something they did finally do in the uh, Metal Gear Solid HD collection, and they didn't even do it in the paper manual, they did it in the digital manual, is they finally put the tap codes for this game in. Uh, 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 uh. Shaboopy, and I'm going to beat the shit out of you as I wait for the music to load. What's up? Fucking, uh, go to sleep. Two. Now, if you listen to this bumping, this is the tap code. They give you a table in the manual that you're supposed to go through all this bullshit and find out the uh, actual frequency. I'm going to pause the game and look up the frequency on GameFAQs. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. That didn't take too long. So we go to the transceiver here and go to 140.82. And we talk to this is Solid Snake. Come in, Edward Einstein. Ah, I see you figured out my code. Not really, because in the manual it's just like, "Where's Doctor Mar? It's been a while." Hey, Solid Snake, Doctor Drago Petrovic Madnar. How did you? Madnar, Marv, and I do believe each other from the Prague Academy. We didn't speak each other. Blah, 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 blah. After a fashion, I was captured along with Marv when we were in America. Where's Dr. Marv? Move me. Damn it, I'm late again. So Marv's in the tower building. Snake, can you guess why they left me alive? They must need you for something. That means. Yes. Metal Gear! Snake is here. Da, 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 da. Three years of prototype. That's why it didn't fire on me when I was blah blah. blah. And Metal Gear. Nuclear equip walking battle tank. Okay. Sandsbar land now has only the nuke the only nukes in the world, and they they have their sights on oil and miracle energy source. Big boss. The very same. See, it's funny, because Black Ninja said not more than three minutes ago, oh, man, I don't want to tell you who it is, and then Madnar tells you right away. He's just like, yeah, it was, it was Big Boss. He's, he's a dick. They use drugs on him won't last long, especially ecstasy. Uh, female agent from STB. Madnar, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm just going to sit here. I'm fucked. I'll come back for you later, maybe. My daughter, Ellen, is a fan of yours. She's not married yet, and I'm afraid I... Oh, and I randomly have a zoologist friend, J Johan Jacobson. All right. We're gonna call Jacobson just so I have his transceiver frequency stored. Solid Snake, come in. Why those fuck sound use animal names anybody? Shut up. People, that's who. I just don't get it. I'm gonna go put my first suit on. Sorry, right, so we're done with that. I'm gonna call Holly. Maybe she'll help. Solid Snake, okay, good help. Campbell. Mission to avoid blah blah blah. Out. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Dick. Alright, so our see now how the map shows which way to go instead of having to go through all that bullshit. Uh, oops. So I forgot to get the mine detector. And I know. Hmm? 
Snake, watch out. You're in a minefield. Who are you? I'm your number one fan. Keep up the good work. Wow, another shit recycled. So, we're just gonna... Because even though I don't have a mine detector... There's probably some mines here. How many mines do I have? Oh wait, I've got the bandana. But I'm not gonna... I don't know, I don't think the bandana is really as cheaty as the uh, stealth camouflage was in Metal Gear Solid. Even though to get the stealth camouflage you pretty much have to make Solid Snake gay. Oh to God, do you think love can bloom in our cabin? Well, I don't know, Snake. Okay, we're good. So we're gonna go down here. They told us this bottom of the swamp is too dangerous to get close, but I saw a big truck driving through here. You believe me, right? Yeah. So the trick to this bullshit is if you're walking like this, you're on solid ground, but like say you're like that, you're gonna sink to your death. So you basically just kind of walk around until you get solid footing. Ooh, ooh, go back. And if you've done it, oh shit, go back. If you've done it as many times as I have, it's up. If you've done this bullshit as many times as I have, it's almost memory at this point. Question mark. But, oh wait, go up. If you haven't done it as many times as I have, it's... Oh, shit. Okay. What does this little kid have to say? Trucks come in and out of here all the time. And something I learned by accident, get away from me, kid, is that you can actually kill those kids. And they take off life. So, I guess this would be one of the earliest games that... What's up, buddy? How many rations do I have? One. That was card two. Card one. Oh. Loading the boss music. There we go. A visitor, what a pleasant surprise. And just in time, too, I made dinner. About to go for a little run on the world's fast mercenary. See for yourself. God, he's so fast. How does he do it? <laughs> Just getting warmed up here. That sounds the nerve gas. Feed me for clock is ticking. Let the let let the race begin. So he runs in a circle. You never get close enough to catch him. And the trick, actually, I think I have enough minds to beat him without cheating. Um, the trick is drop mines, chase him to the next room, and he just runs over him. And if you ever get close to the point where you're out of oxygen, just leave the room and come back. It's one of the most simple boss fights I've ever done. Is he almost dead? Did he hit did he hit that mine? Okay, now I gotta leave the room. <sighs> okay. And the problem is now I gotta use the bandana because I'm low on mines. Oh, fuck, I killed myself. Oh, damn it. What do you make me continue? Please don't make me do the, the fucking maze thing again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there's mines there, dumbass. Alright. Ooh. 
way to forget the mine detector. What did I did I pick them all up? No, I don't have any mines. The hell is this? I mean, I know there's mines here. Okay, there's one. Two. Three. I don't know, I need more than fucking four. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I don't think I can carry that many. Nine, keep going. Ten. Eleven. That, sh that should be enough to kill him. As long as I don't run over my own fucking mine again. Right. But as a nice little kick in the balls, we get to do the swamp part again. Which thankfully, at this point in the game, I have memorized. Oh, wait, wrong fucking way. Oh shit. No. Fucking go. Okay. No. Why am I what am I doing? Stop, stop thinking, snake. Terrible. I think this is the reason I don't do these live, because then, uh, go up. Don't sink to your death, Snake, I swear to God. Oh, I was close. I was close to my death. And if you do sink to your death, you just disappear. There's not really, like, a sad fanfare music or anything. Alright, up. No. Kid, it's right here. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I just did this. It made it look so easy the first time. All right, we're gonna shoot this motherfucker, Chris. Oh, yeah, please. Please freeze while you load the music that's only going to play for a second. Alright. Should be good this time. As long as I don't run over my own mind again. But we have to go through his whole spiel again where he shows you that he's the fastest, slowest runner in the world. A visitor, what a pleasant surprise. Blah, 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 blah. I was going to make a crack about me being able to run faster than him, but I can't. I can't run faster than that. Pen, pen, blah, blah, blah. Okay, open up my equipment. Open up my equipment so I can put my gas mask on. Alright, here we go. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. I don't think he hit the second one. Yeah, he didn't hit the second one. I'm guessing he can only hit one at a time. Can I go up? up. There you go. Now I gotta get out of this room. Card one. <sighs> go back in. See, then the funny thing is, like, once you go out and go back in, his life doesn't reset. Seven. So I've hit him four times. Right. Come on. There we go. I go up. There we go. I 
I mean, if you had to do anything else about this, it would be annoying as shit. Alright, he's almost dead. And now he's dead. Swish. Where's his body? Here we go. He fell down. Running man. You used my speed against me. What's your name? Steve. Snake, the cheetahs lost the snake. How could this happen? Because you fucking ran over my landmines, dumb shit. <laughs> then he blows the fuck up. And we get card three. Next time, I think I'm going to end it here because I'm going to try to end it after every boss battle. Next time on Let's Play Solid Snake, we get to play, fight the most annoying boss in the game. So uh, see you next time.